guys Ashley K here and I'm back with another video and this is the first upload of 2018 woo woo okay this is the first video of 2018 so I thought I would kick it off with a how we're gonna slay our 2018 year okay these are gonna be some easy tips that we all could follow on how we could slay this year and make this year our best year okay and do whatever we want to do this year because it's about to be lit okay so I just want to recap on 2017 2017 definitely was a lit year i definitely accomplished a lot of things i wanted to do and definitely went places that i never went before so i'm excited for this year because i know this year is about to be another lit year i can already feel it i already feel it in my bones <laughs> so without the further ado i'm gonna give you guys some i think it's four easy tips on how we can slay 2018 and really make this year lit okay that i have is being consistent and sorry guys if you see me looking down i have a list in front of the camera right here so i'm just gonna be peeking down a little bit just so i stay on task okay so don't mind me but the first tip that we have is being consistent i cannot stress this enough on how important this is with many different things in life and i struggle with this like so bad y'all like really really bad like so and it's just being consistent being consistent with anything like consistency is so important in life like if you're not like staying on task and really continuing to do things setting a goal and actually working towards it it's gonna be hard for you to accomplish it so being consistent if you stay on top of your stuff and you tell yourself okay i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna make sure i do it i'm not gonna stop after like two three days or whatever like that is so important so definitely staying consistent staying on task it don't have to be a big goal that you have to set and be consistent with you could just set a goal like okay i'm gonna clean my house like every thursday and just be consistent with that or whatever or i'm gonna you know eat i'm not gonna eat red meat on fridays or something like that you could just set little tiny goals like to match your lifestyle or match whatever you're trying to do and just be consistent with it okay we're gonna hold each other to this okay because i need help with this too girl okay the second tip i have is taking risks definitely taking risks is a huge thing for this year it was a huge thing for me last year i was kind of just you know like a lot of things i was just like okay i have the money i'm gonna go here if i want to go here i'm gonna go here okay if i want to do this i'm gonna do this so it's definitely important that you know you take risks this year like you only got one life to live i don't want to be on that yolo wave but yolo you know what i mean you only got one life to live okay and it's you gotta live your best life you know what i mean so like you don't have to spend crazy money to live your best life or to take risks or whatever it's just basically you know saying that you're gonna do something and actually do it like don't just say like i'm gonna do you know this or whatever this goes hand in hand with consistency but basically just remain taking risks like just don't be scared to do something if you always wanted to start something and you were just scared to do it don't be scared because it's like because and the only thing that's actually scaring you is probably what other people think don't care about what other people think it's 2018 really take risks this year we're not gonna care about what other people say we're not gonna care about what other people are doing we're gonna live our lives and we're gonna take risks or whatever as long as it's within reason you know don't do nothing crazy or whatever i don't promote that you know what i'm saying but definitely you know take risks like don't be scared like just live your life you know what i mean and then you're gonna feel so much like you're gonna feel so fulfilled once you accomplish something you're just like oh my gosh i'm glad i like stopped being a freaking chicken or whatever and i you know did what i said i was gonna do you're gonna feel so accomplished and you're gonna feel so great about yourself so definitely take risks is number two so the next tip that i have is being positive this one i feel like is one of the main ones because in the society that we live in nowadays in the world that we live in nowadays social media is a huge thing like you could go on instagram and instantly if you're not secure within yourself you could be looking at pictures on the explorer button and everything and you could just look at somebody and say damn like if i don't look at like that then obviously i, I don't feel you know i'm gonna feel negative about myself and that should never ever be the defining factor for anyone so definitely remain positive like you just need to just stay in your own bubble stay zen you see what i'm saying and like just remain positive and i know it's so it's so you know 
generic me saying oh just stay positive blah, blah blah but it's like you have to try to remain positive in this life because it's so easy to get consumed like i said with all the negative thoughts and negative vibes from different people and everything like that especially if you put yourself out there or whatever you're gonna you're gonna receive negative comments negative vibes or whatever cases you definitely just have to remain positive throughout everything because you know there's gonna be haters there's gonna be people that are um that don't like you or whatever regardless of what you do with your life doesn't matter what you do you're always gonna have a negative person you're always gonna have a negative colleague that you work with you're always gonna have a negative thing that someone's gonna say about you but it's like who cares definitely remain positive try to remain positive do things that make you feel good about yourself and that's what's gonna keep you positive like if you just like laying in your room listening to music have your candles on with a whole vibe type situation then do that if that's what makes you feel positive do those things okay so and that's what's gonna keep your positivity and keep your sanity all this year okay don't care about what nobody have to say or whatever the case is and another tip is to if you have negative vibes around you like negative people or negative it could just be negative things in general you're gonna have to eliminate that okay you're gonna have to get rid of that energy get rid of those people kick them out and do whatever you have to do to live your most best positive life okay because you can't be surrounded by negative we can't be surrounded by negative people okay good vibes only over here no negative ish over there okay keep that negative ish Oh. that i have is making some new time this is why i saved this for last because this is vitally important okay so <laughs> making some new time is definitely important and it's just basically focusing on you take an hour out of your 24 hours a day take a 30 minutes out of your 24 hours a day and focus on yourself like if that means you got to take a nice long bubble bath if that means like i said you got to vibe out to some music if that means you want to go buy a little something something for yourself because you earned it you deserve it do that do whatever you have to do to keep your sanity and just do some new time okay like it's so important to like i said to get consumed because everybody's on the hustle everybody's on the move i gotta go here i gotta go to work i gotta do this i gotta do that and it's like you don't really realize it's like what are you working for if like if my sanity is not you know popping what am i working for you <laughs> like what am i doing all this for like if i'm not like investing in myself if i'm not like doing a little something for myself what the heck am i doing this shit for like you should really ask yourself that question so if you're not you know taking some time out for yourself focusing on yourself then you should definitely do that this year take it don't have to be like a whole extravagant thing you don't have to go freaking to freaking jamaica for a whole week like you don't have to you know fly out if we, if that's not what you time is you know what i mean you could just be in your own house meditate a little just be in the room the dark and the quiet and just do you we're gonna do that a little really bit more. sit down and really think about these tips like you don't have to you know sit here and you know like you don't have to accomplish all four like you could take one if one really resonated with you then do that one or whatever but we're trying to live our best lives this year we're not trying to care about what anybody has to say okay this is a us year and if we're selfish this year that's how we're gonna get through what we have to get through okay <laughs> if you liked any of these tips if any of these tips were your favorite let me know below if you guys want to see more videos from me any video ideas comment below and let me know what you guys want to see Thank you guys so much for your support. I see the subscribers going up and I'm getting so excited. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to me, actually watching me. I think this is so cool that y'all want to watch that little old kid. Okay, but <laughs> not. I'm going to link all my um my latest videos down below. If you guys want to reach me, I'm going to put all my contact information below. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, take care.